اعوذ باللہ السمیع العلیم من الشیطان اللعین الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولا حول ولا قوة الا باللہ العلی العظیم حسبنا اللہ ونعم الوکیل نعم المولا ونعم النصیر صل اللہ علیک یا رسول اللہ وعلى أهل بيتك المعصومين المظلومين لا سيما بقية الله الحجة ابن الحسن فداه أرواح العالمين صلى الله عليك يا مولاي وابن مولاي يا أبا عبد الله على المستشهدين بين يديك لعن الله الظالمين لكم من الأولين والآخرين يا ليتنا كنا معكم سادتي فنفوز فوزا عظيما قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ألا وإن الحسين باب من أبواب الجنة صدق مولانا وسيدنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله As we are experiencing a very hard time during this epidemic and pandemic when we see centers are closed so they can slow down the spread of this virus. All doors are closed, schools, universities, businesses, cities. However, there is a door that will stay open no matter what happens. And that door is the door of Hussein alayhi salam. Ala wa inna al Hussein ba is not simply a door. No. He's a door to heaven. Almighty God's heaven has got eight doors. And one of those doors is under the name of Hussein alayhi salam. <coughs> And it probably is the biggest door. Imam al Hussein alayhi salam was so eager, like his grandfather, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa so eager to guide people. لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِّنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِتُمْ حَرِيصٌ عَلَيْكُمْ He's so eager to guide you. بِالْمُؤْمَنِينَ رَعُوفُ الرَّحِيمِ Imam al-Hussain was so eager, salam Allahi alayhi, to guide people, to guide the nation. And he revolted, actually, to guide the nation. Yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted the best for our beloved Imam al-Imam al-Hussain, salam Allahi alayhi. Imam al-Hussain, salam Allahi alayhi, was chosen by Almighty God to be martyred in the sacred land of Karbala, sacred desert of Nainawa. And that's an honor. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to be martyred in his way. And he did that to actually revive the nation of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وبذل مهجته فيك مهجة in Arabic language means the blood of the heart sometimes someone comes and actually donate blood to help others Imam Al-Hussein عليه السلام did not donate it Normal blood. No. He sacrificed the blood of his heart. 
So he sacrificed himself. Why he did that? وَبَذَلَ مُهْجَتَهُ فِيك لِيَسْتَنْقِذَ عِبَادَكِ So he can rescue your slaves, O oh Allah. من الجهالة from ignorance وحيرة الضلالة So they can know actually. They can know the way. They can be guided by whom? By Imam al Hussein. And he was so eager for that. Historians mention that in every city between Mecca and Karbala, in every city Imam Hussein used to stay for a night or a few hours. He used to preach and he used to spread the message of the Prophet. And he used to ask people to join him. Not that he needs people, no. He doesn't need anyone. And actually in the eve of Tasu'a, Imam al Hussein told his progenies and his companions, Just try to actually use this opportunity. It's night time. Just run away because these enemies, If these people, Reach me, they will leave you. They don't want you, they only want me. And of course, Imam Hussein's progeny and companions did not accept Imam Al Hussein's offer. They said, No, we wish we get killed before you, we protect you. And even some of them said, Oh Aba Abdullah, oh Aba Abdullah, we wish that we get killed and revived, killed and revived. 1,000 times to protect you. <clears throat> so Imam Hussain did not need anyone. Yet, we see that he was so eager to guide people. So eager. Why? Because Imam Hussain is the ark of salvation. Because Imam Hussain is the door of heaven. Allah! Allah! Allah means, oh! Pay attention! Look at me, Allah. They call it harf tambi. The Prophet wants to drag our attention towards his saying. So, what do you have, oh, our Prophet? Inna al Hussein. Indeed, Hussein. Babun min abwab al jannah is a door of Almighty God's heaven. Man anadahu, whoever stays stands, choose to be against Hussein ibn Ali, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not let him enter the heaven. Not only from that door, but from any other door as well. حرم الله عليه الجنة So he used to stay in cities for a few hours, and he used to preach, he used to ask people to join him, to join his army, to join his <clears throat> revolution against tyrants. And he did that. And he was succeeded, I believe. You know why? Because Imam al Hussein did not fool people. When he wanted to leave Mecca, he delivered a very, very strong sermon. He did not say that, oh, Meccans, oh, my companions, oh, people, join me and I will win this battle and I will confiscate the success of Shiva from Yazid. No. He said, The death for son of Adam is so beautiful, it's like a necklace on the neck of a young lady. This is how the death in the way of Allah is beautiful in the eye of Imam al Hussein. Al maut ala Adam. Ala al -fatat. And I can see how martyrdom is close to me and how people actually will kill me, will kill my children will kill my lineage, will kill my companions, 
تقطعها عسلان الفلوات بين النواويس وكربلاء وما أولهني إلى أسلافي I'm so eager to join my grandfathers my fathers my mothers my brothers prophets of Allah I'm so eager to join the gatherings to be with them ma awlahani ila aslaf we have ishtiaq yaqub ila yusuf yusuf was eager as well to see yaqub but yaqub was more eager fa biyadhat aynahu min al huzn wa huwa kadhim he got blind because he cried and cried and weep and cried for his son yusuf ishtiaq yaqub ila yusuf of course I'd like to leave and abandon this dunya. Of course. So, من كان راحلا معنا من كان باذلا فينا مهجته فليرحل معنا If you want to sacrifice your heart, your blood, the blood of your heart in our way, join us. I'm not going to give you positions in my government. I'm going to take you to a desert that you will face nothing but thirsty, but short, but spheres, but arrows, but stones, but vicious people, beast people. But I will give you in return the pleasure of Allah. Allah will be pleased with you. We decide. سورة الفجر يا أيتها النفس المطمئنة ارجعي إلى ربك راضية مرضية فادخلي في عبادي وادخلي جنتي You are pleased with Allah سبحانه وتعالى's decrees and Allah سبحانه وتعالى is pleased with you O Hussein This verse is talking about Hussein in accordance to our narrations <clears throat> so Imam al-Hussain did not trick, manipulated, fooled the nation. No. They used to come to him. Abdullah ibn Zubair he used to come to Imam al-Hussain and he used to tell him, yes, it's good for you to go to Karbala. Oh, sorry, good for you to go to Kufa because your father has got too many lovers in the city of Kufa. Imam al used to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he used to tell his companions, do you know why he wants me out of Mecca? He doesn't like me. He doesn't want me to stay here. He wants me to get killed because he knows what Kufians will do to me. He knows that we cannot trust them. <clears throat> no one can trust them. They betrayed my father. They betrayed my brother. They will betray me as well. But he doesn't want me to stay in Mecca because if I stay in Mecca, no one will pay any attention to Abdullah ibn Zubair. Who's Abdullah ibn Zubair? No one knows him. If you want to make any comparison between him and Imam al Hussein, the grandson of the Prophet, and that's why he used to tell Imam al Hussein, advise him to leave Mecca and go to Kufa while you see other people. We used to take care of Imam al Hussein. Believe in Imam al Hussein. He used to tell him, Oh, Abba Abdullah, do you know what you are doing? You are leaving Mecca or Medina towards Iraq, and you know Kufians. They will not fulfill their promises. Imam al Hussein used to reply, I do know. Of course I know. But my grandfather came to my dream and told me, Ya Hussein, O oh, Hussein, oh, go towards Iraq. Sha'Allah, Iraq. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wells once to see you killed, martyred in the holy land of Karbala. Sha'Allah, Iraq. So Imam al Hussein knew that and he informed his progeny. He informed, actually, his companions, he informed everyone that I will get killed. 
But if you want to be with God, if you want to be with the Prophet, if you want to be with us, just come and actually join my army. And the last letter Imam al-Hussein wrote to his brother Muhammad ibn al-Hanafiyya مَنْ لَحِقَ بِنَسْ تُشْهِدْ وَمَنْ لَمْ يَلْحَقْ لَمْ يُدْرِكِ الْفَاتِحِ Whoever joins us, he will get martyred. He said that. So, Imam al-Hussein, باب الجنة, باب نجاة الأمة, peace be upon him, guided people in his way, sometimes he used actually <clears throat> to even send people and his messengers to some of the great, great actually people such as Az Zuhair ibn al Qayyim. He was a very famous person. Of course, he wasn't a Shia guy back then. When Muhammad Hussein sent his messenger and asked Zuhair, to have chat with Imam al-Hussein, Zuhair ibn al-Qayn refused. I said, no, I'm not gonna go. I know what you want to ask me. And Zuhair's wife, Dulhum, was a decent lady, very pious lady. He told Zuhair, do you know what you are doing? Rejecting the request of the grandson of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Go, at least listen to him. And then he shied from his wife and he went. So he entered the tent of Imam al Hussein while he was Uthmani al Maslak. He used to call for revenge for the blood of Uthman ibn Affan. He entered the tent of Imam al Hussein and sat with Imam al Hussein for a few moments and he went out of that tent while his heart was full of the love of Imam al Hussein. This is how Imam al Hussein changed the heart of Zuhair ibn al Qayyim. How he guided him. <clears throat> he came back to his wife and told her, I'd like to divorce you. She said, what's happening? few moments ago you said I don't want to meet with Hussein Salam and now you're saying and tell me that you want to divorce me he said yes I found what I was looking for for a long time and that was nothing but the guidance of Allah through Almighty God's successes and they are no one but the progenies of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam <clears throat> yes, sometimes he used to walk towards tent and people used to reject his request. Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam went to Ubaidullah ibn al Hur al Jufi, a Kufian guy. When he saw Imam al Hussein, he got very upset. He said, Ah, oh, I didn't want to meet you, and that's why I left Kufa. Imam Hussein said, you don't want to see me. You know what are you talking about? He said, yes, I left Kufa because I don't want actually uh, to betray you. But I'm willing to help you. How? I can give you my sword and I can give you my horse. And above that, I can take care of your family. Take my horse, take my sword. And I will protect your family and will take them back to the holy city of the Prophet Al Medina, even if I get killed in this way. Imam al Hussein replied that if in Bakhalta Alayna binafsik, if you are stingy and you don't want to sacrifice your nafs your heart, your life for us, we don't need, we don't need your horse or your sword. 
Do you think that your sword is better than Dhul Fiqar? He said, okay, but my horse is very fast horse. Mar Hussain. Mar Hussain is karrar, gayru farrar. Like Amir Mohi, he won't run away from the battlefield. That's why they found on Imam Hussain's body too many stabs, but not in his back. Not in his back. Why? Because he faced the enemy. He did not give his back to them. He did not run away from them. So what should he do with a fastest horse? And then Imam Hussain told him, I'll advise you with my words. If you don't want to join my army, my camp, just go very far away. And this is very touching. It touches <clears throat> hearts, brothers and sisters. Do you know what? Imam Hussain told him, go so far away, said, so you will not be able to hear even my voice. So if you don't want to be with Imam Hussain's camp, you will be so far away that you will not be able even to listen to Imam Hussain's voice. So it's as easy as that. Either you want to be with Imam Hussain or against Imam Hussain. There is nothing in between. Are you with Imam Hussain? Oh no, someone said, no, I'm going to be like Abu Musa al-Ash'ari. He's against Ali ibn Abi Talib. He wasn't in between. You either with Haq or against Haq. And that's why in the very famous Ziyarah, Ziyarat al-Jama'ah, we say, Ma'akum, Ma'akum, La Ma'a Ghayrikum. We are with you, with you, not with any other people. Why? Because other people means that they are not with Imam al-Hussain alayhi salam. It means that they are against Imam al-Hussain. Staying behind and watching the throat of Imam al-Hussain getting slaughtered is actually, it means that that person is against Imam al-Hussain He's not with Imam al-Hussain So Imam al-Hussain tried to guide Ubaidullah ibn al-Hurr al jahri but he didn't accept. And historians say that then he regretted. He regret what he did, his decision, but that won't help him at all. Imam al-Hussain, when the actually news of Muslim ibn Aqi reached him, Imam al-Hussain, was in a city called probably Zarud, or a place called Zarud. <clears throat> Two people came from Kufa, and they told Imam Hussain, we've got a very bad news for you. We'd like to tell you that news. Imam Hussain said, no, no, no. Just say it. Laysa bayni wa bayna haula, sir. I want everyone to listen to that news. They are my companions. <clears throat> then they said, we did not leave the city of Kufa until we saw Muslim ibn Aqil and Hani ibn Urwa being dragged on the floor. Dragged on the floor. <clears throat> okay. What Imam Hussain said? Imam Hussain said, La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. And then he delivered a very short sermon. He said, Listen, we are ending up. And very hard situation. <clears throat> it's up to you to stay with us or to leave us. Some of Imam Hussein's camp left Imam Hussein because they thought that Imam Hussein will enter Kufa. Yes, he's saying that he will be killed eventually. He will be killed in the city of Karbala, but probably he can reach Kufa, he can stay there, and then we can drink. We can leave his camp. We can get some dinars and dirhams and some gold and silvers. <clears throat> when they found out that now they won't get but actually a death with sword or spears, 
they left the camp of Imam al Hussein and abandoned Imam al Hussein. How fool they are. Only you had to stay a few more days to end up with the Prophet, with all Prophets, with Hussein alayhi <clears throat> salam. How fool you are. <clears throat> so, so, Imam al Hussein preached well, tried hard, like his grandfather, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And he was so eager, sallallahu alayhi to guide every single person he meet with. And sometimes he used to work, sallallahu alayhi wa <clears throat> towards people's tent to guide them. Until they reached the holy city or holy land, it wasn't the city back then, holy land of Karbala. Imam al Hussein's horse stopped. <clears throat> he looked at his companion, Masmuha, he knows. He can smell the aroma of blood on that land. Masmuha, can you? Tell me the name of this land. Al Hussein's companion replied, To Samma al Ghadariyat. They call it Ghadariyat. Does it have any other name? They said, Yes. To Samma Nainawa. <clears throat> they call it Nainawa as well. Does it have any other name? Yes. To Samma Karbala. Why Imam al Hussein heard? The name of Karbala. He started to cry. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al Karbala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I seek refuge to you <coughs> from, from Karb, from ordeal, from Bala, <coughs> from your trial, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al Karb wa al Bala. Inzilu. This is the land that we are looking for. انزلوا فها هنا محط رحالنا. We're gonna take this land as our city. انزلوا فها هنا. What? We're gonna govern? No. ها هنا تقتل رجالنا. They will kill and slaughter our men here. انزلوا فها هنا تذبح أطفالنا. They will kill and slaughter Ali and the Azhar in this city. In this land, in this desert, Allahu Akbar. <clears throat> Just imagine how and what is Lady Zainab's reaction to Imam Al Hussein saying, hearing her brother actually weeping for his men, weeping for his children, weeping for his progeny and companions. Of course, that will affect Lady Zainab's heart. Allahu Akbar, ka'anni biha. I can hear her voice calling, Ah, Husayna, Aywa Husayna, Aywa Gariba, Aywa Akha, Aywa Madluma, Bar Bokshai Dinja Karbala. Abukhakash Badalo John Ashenas Assalam Sar Zameen Karbala Assalam Manzalo Ma'vayma As-salam Khaymagah Khaharam Qatlgah Jangodaz 
Akbaram, this is our land. This is what we are looking for. I know the smell of this land. I know this land. They will kill my men in this land. They will capture my sister as a prisoner in this land. Karbala, Gahvareye. از غل توی کربلا مقتل عباسنا ما غل توی I can imagine how dead they are to kill my infant I can't imagine how dead they are to kill my own brother رب الفضل العباس آمدم آهوش خود را باز کن آلند آف کربلا give me a good hug I love you I'm looking for you بستر مهمان خود را ساز کن we are your guests but that is very weird Imam Al Hussein entered Karbala as guests. By then, by they deprived him from drinking even a single drop of water. Aywa Wayla, Aywa Husayna, Aywa Gariba, Aywa. عطشاناه اللهم لعن أول ظالم ظلم حق محمد وآل محمد وآخر تابع له على ذلك اللهم لعن العصابة التي جاهدت الحسين وشايعت وبايعت وتابعت على قتله اللهم لعنهم جميعا السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك وأناخت برحلك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين السلام عليك سيدي وعلى آبائك الطاهرين وأولادك المنتجبين والسبايا من آل بيتك ورحمة الله وبركاته